You may remember last year around this time in Wildwood, there was an unsanctioned car event that actually turned deadly. Two people were killed at the rally that involved hundreds of cars. Now police are working to make sure that this event and the tragedy doesn't happen again this year. Action News reporter Trish Hartman live for us now in Wildwood with what officials are saying there. Trish. Well, sorry, first I want to show you those two victims are still being remembered here at this intersection. There's still a memorial for two victims, Timothy Ogden and Lindsay Weekland, who were killed here a year ago in Wildwood. Police say they do not believe that the street racers will be back this year, but they are preparing all the same. One year after a deadly and unsanctioned car rally in Wildwood, people in town remember the scary moments. Just a bunch of cars coming over the Wildwood Bridge that were loud and they um, were just doing donuts all over the street. No respect for anything, you know, doing spin outs everywhere and it was just crazy. You don't see that down here. Last year, hundreds of cars flooded the island as part of an unsanctioned vehicle rally called H2OI. A crash at Atlantic and Burke Avenues killed 34-year-old Timothy Ogden along with a pedestrian, 18-year-old Lindsay Weekland. This week, Wildwood Police put out a notice that they've received inquiries about the event coming back, saying that the city has had any social media posts promoting these events taken down and is working with the Cape May County Prosecutor's Office to monitor the situation. Shortly after the tragedy last year, Wildwood announced plans to pass ordinances to triple fines for unsanctioned events. The mayor also says the city can now quickly tow cars from private lots. In the past year, we've contacted the owners of these larger lots um, and gotten their written permission that in the event something like this pops up, we don't have to contact them. We have, we as the police have the ability to go on and tow these cars on our own. People we spoke with say after last year, they don't think they're coming back. I don't want them in my hometown. Now, there are several sanctioned events happening in the Wildwoods this weekend, including the Fall Classic Car Show up on the boardwalk here in Wildwood. Again, police say they have no credible information that a large-scale H2OI event is happening this weekend, but they are still preparing. Reporting live in Wildwood, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. All right, Trish, thank you.